Hey there, Adrian Rosebrock here from PyImageSearch.com, and today we're going to discuss how to compute image histograms using OpenCV. I love talking about image histograms because they are just used everywhere in computer vision and image processing. On a simple level, you may use histograms for adjusting you know, brightness, for adjusting contrast. You may look at a histogram to just understand the general distribution of pixel intensities in an image. At a more advanced level, you may compute color histograms using like a color correction card, and then you could actually transform the color space from one input image to another, therefore giving you a consistent representation of color across multiple images. And when you start getting into like machine learning, that's when you start working on these bag of visual word models where you're not necessarily working with the raw pixel intensities of the images themselves, but you're kind of quantifying like higher level features of an input image and then binning them to certain histograms. That way you can quantify and describe what's in an input image. Content-based image retrieval or image search engines, on the other hand, are another great example of where you'll see histograms. Sure, you'll see this bag of visual words model with, with image search engines, but you could also build a very basic search en image search engine relying just on the color distribution of input images. So for example, let's say you have a data set of shirts and you want to be able to search for shirts based off of color. A really complex way that you could go around that is to say, all right, I'm going to go through every single one of these images. I'm going to label them as a specific color like red, green, black, purple, what have you, and then quantify the image in some manner. Maybe you rely on, on a neural network or a deep neural network, and you try and train this network to recognize what the color of each input image is. Now, that's certainly possible, and it may work to a degree. Or another more simple solution would be to take every input image in your data set, compute a color histogram for each channel. That way, you could basically describe and quantify the color distribution of the input image. And then when you want to find images with similar color distributions, you just compute the distance between these histograms. You could use like Manhattan distance, uh, Euclidean distance, chi-squared distance. Any of those metrics would be useful here because again, you're just comparing pixel intensities to see how similar these the histograms are. And if the histograms are similar, then based on your application, you might be able to say, all right, then the contents may be semantically similar as well. So in the context of building this like fashion search engine or shirt search engine and ranking system, well, just compute color histograms for all those clothing items, compare the histograms, and then histograms that have a small distance between themselves, well, they're probably similar and they very likely have the same color items in them. So we're gonna get started just getting used to histograms, getting used to computing them, and then we'll cover more advanced techniques later inside these courses. So let's take a look at our project directory structure. We have three scripts to review here today. Uh, Grayscalehistogram.py will demonstrate how to compute a grayscale histogram using just the gray pixel intensities of an image. We'll then move on to computing color histograms, including what I call one-dimensional flattened color histograms, where we're computing the distribution for each of the red, green, and blue channels separately from each other. And then we'll also move on to then computing two-dimensional and three-dimensional histograms as well. Finally, you'll learn how to compute a histogram for just a masked region of an input image. So going back to this clothing search engine idea, let's say that you have these input images, but there's also a lot of background noise. Maybe they were taken on like a busy street or maybe, you know, wherever you were, there was just a lot of background going on. So you don't want to quantify what's in the background. You want, only want to quantify what's in the foreground, the clothing item itself. So maybe based off of a segmentation technique such as thresholding or grab cut or even you know a more advanced technique like a instant segmentation network like UNet or mask RCNN, you're able to segment the clothing from the image. Now, once you have that mask, you could compute a color histogram for only that masked region, thereby quantifying only the masked region of the input image and only the piece of clothing itself. So I'll show you how to do that there as well. And this beach.png image this is the image that we're going to get some practice on when computing histograms. 